Good morning, everyone. If you're just waking up with us, we've been following some breaking news of an officer-involved shooting that's going on in South Austin. Yeah, police have shot and killed a man at South Congress and slaughter. KXC and Sophia Bosile is live for us at the scene. Sophia, what are they telling you? Hi, good morning, Sally. There's a lot of police presence here, and you can take a look behind me. I'm going to step out the way. You can see that they have Slaughter and South Congress blocked off. And if you look in the background, if you're familiar with this area, it's near Walgreens and the Valerio. Now, at this time, what we've heard from the Travis County EMS is that they believe a man in his 60s is dead. Uh, police say at this point that there was a slow speed chase that was happening, and then that's when the shooting took place at some point after that. We have not received any new details, as you can can probably imagine right now police are trying to sift through what exactly happened. We did though get a call from a witness who say that uh, they reported seeing a man hovering, holding a gun to the sky. At this point, we do not have that confirmed. Uh, we are waiting to hear back from police on their details on what they think uh, was happening at that point in time. But again, we are watching this area and waiting for an update. Now, when it comes to traffic, uh, Amanda, it's going to be really bad because they have this blocked off all the way almost down South Congress and then also to the frontage ridge of I-35 and I know you can see that there on the map. Yeah, absolutely, Sophia. If we zoom in a little closer, we can give you an even better perspective of where those lanes are closed on slaughter uh, between South Congress and Cullen Street. Now, this is a major way to help drivers in South Austin get over to I-35, so you need to plan your alternate route. Now, we've got you covered on those. Of course, you can always jump on William Cannon. You can use Stastny, South First Street, Manchac Road to help you move around this spot. But again, it is safe to say we're going to see some big delays in this area if this is not cleared out by the time that full swing of rush hour begins to take over.